Welcome to my first Marvelous Moms, well not my first Marvelous Moms Periscope, first one where I've invited my Marvelous Moms Club members to watch. So if you guys are catching the replay, hello. If you're watching live, welcome. Um, I just wanted to do a little Periscope today. I've really started to love Periscope. I've gotten some really cool new followers that way and people who've joined the Marvelous Moms Club. Hey Amanda! Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks for all the hearts! <laughs> So I have been really skeptical of Periscope and nervous about it because you're just kind of putting yourself out there live. But after watching some really amazing scopers put themselves out there and just be unafraid to be live, I'm deciding to do it more. Oh, there's my baby. Say hi. You got some M&M chocolate on your cheek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So lately I've been having some people ask me how I do it all. And like to the point where my best friend has texted me last night and said, are you on meth or speed or something? Because I don't know how you do it all. And today's one of those days where I'm like, I really don't think I'm doing any of it. I'm not doing it well. Thanks for the hearts, Amanda. <laughs> um, it's just crazy. I'm sitting here having total guilt because my list of things to do, let me just show you guys my list of things to do. It's, there's how many things on there? Like 30 things on there. Everything from like mom stuff. Hey, Emily. Mom stuff I have to do, um, like scheduling dentist appointments, calling on stupid payments and bills, down to like planning my next business strategy, finishing a couple books, starting a book, outlining a book, reading books. There's so many things I want to do, it's overwhelming. But at the end of the day, the things that make me feel the most accomplished are when I was a nice mom to my kids. And shame of moment, I totally yelled at them just a minute ago because I was on the phone. <laughs> Kids get so loud the minute you get on the phone. It's ridiculous. I don't understand it, but it's like they have radar. Or when you like finally lay down to close your eyes for five minutes, they immediately wake up from their naps. Does that happen to any of you guys? It happens to me every single time. Yeah, they totally have radar. It's crazy. But anyway, so this is just a glimpse inside my everyday. I'm going to be totally real with you and totally honest with you and I'm going to show you my living space and I'm going to show you how crazy it is and how you don't need a nanny and a housekeeper and a big house or anything to be successful because I'm working my little tail off and it's with hardly any, um, any luxury. <laughs> I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't know, maybe I need some help, but I don't, I'm not ready to relinquish any of those responsibilities. Welcome to everybody watching. Thank you, Amanda, for inviting followers. Um, if you're just tuning in, my name's Kirsten. I have a website, MarvelousMomsClub.com, where I'm inspiring and encouraging moms to stop being mediocre and to start doing amazing and wonderful things. I'm excited for our lunch date, too. My husband asked me today, he's like, are you ever going to actually meet up with her in person? And I was like, yes, on Friday we have a lunch date. It's going to happen. We're not going to be just cyber friends. We live, like, within miles of each other. It's ridiculous. Hi! I missed your name. Um, so anyway, this is a glimpse inside my life. I'm going to put myself out there and not be as afraid of Periscope. If there's any people who want to be perverted on here, that's fine. I'm just going to ignore you or block you. But this is not. This is not Perv Central. So I'm going to flip it around. You're going to see this is my freaking kitchen. There is my, like, lifeblood right there. There's my Diet Coke stash. Caffeine free. That was like a lame attempt to be, um, better. But what's the point of that? Yes! Diet Coke! <laughs> So kitchen is a disaster. We do not have a dishwasher. Hi, Alyssa. She's saying hi, Amanda. No dishwasher. I've lived without a dishwasher for two years right now. It's insane. Here's lunch pieces left out. I'm not even kidding you guys. My house was spotless yesterday. You've seen that, that, that meme like you missed my house. It was clean for five minutes. Okay. We live in like, I don't even know, not even a thousand square feet apartment. <laughs> There's the Lego disaster. So a couple of months ago, we had to drag our mattress out to the living room to sleep out here because we, our bed frame was like driving us crazy. Not for those reasons, but um, so we drag it out here because it was too late to take the bed apart. And we were sleeping in the living room and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the answer. This is the, what we could do. We could move our bedroom to the living room. And my husband was like, Kirsten, this is getting weird. This is, we're going to be weird people. I don't want to be weird people. And I was like, no, seriously, we can like move Connor to our bedroom and we can like put a lock on the door and keep him in there. Cause my oldest son is crazy. He would get out of his room, get out in the morning. He'd climb on a chair on like the top of one of these kitchen chairs to get on top of the fridge and steal whatever food was up there. Or he'd open the refrigerator. We used to have to lock it with a bike lock and he'd pull all the food out of the freezer. He'd try and microwave like frozen fish. I mean, Emily, you know the story. She's She loves sharing this with people, it's hilarious. 
but he's just been a crazy kid. So we were like, we've got to do something. We can't keep living like this. Yeah, he's way cute. Thank goodness he's cute. <laughs> So we had to do something a little unconventional. So our unconventional thing started out weird and it turned, okay, it's not gonna be the best representation because it's messy, but we changed, this is stuff going back to Amazon and donation stuff. We're not slobs, we don't live out of bags. So this is our little sitting area. We had to pull the curtains away because thanks to the humidity in San Clemente, we started growing freaking mold on the walls, which was awesome. But this is our master bedroom slash living room. So I'm not, I was going to like clean up before I did this and I was like, what's the point? I would waste all that time and then I'd have no time to scope. So this is our, we finally got a king size bed because we had the room for it. We bought all this new stuff, the couch, the chairs, everything was like new. It's nothing fancy. It's Ikea. This is Target, Target couch, Target matching chairs, Ikea dressers. Um, and yeah, it's awesome. So when people come to our house, I'm like instantly like, Hey, welcome to our weird New York style bedroom. Hi, Seth. Oh, I'll go show you Parker in just a second. Yeah, so this is our living room bedroom. I mean, if you lived in New York, and we're seriously almost as expensive as New York living, this is how you live. So this is our master. <laughs> so is that what you're asking? What's in our master? Oh, what's in our old master? Okay, we moved our six-year-old into it. This was our master. So now this is Connor's room. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we moved all the toys in here, um, the piano, there's a door to outside, but we just keep it locked and usually put something in front of it, but not to the point where it's a fire hazard. Um, so he has his own little playroom, which I cleaned yesterday. Oh, it's already dirty. Um, so now he has his own space and guess what? There's a lock on the door so we can lock him in here. If he needs to go potty, he's got his own bathroom with... It's a mess. I'm now I'm starting to really regret not cleaning up a little bit, but and then the little ones are in here. This is Felicity's little corner. I was telling you about Amanda, her own little quarter of the world. <laughs> um, I had a daughter and we had no ability to do a fancy nursery, but she doesn't care. And then we used the bottom. <laughs> well, this is so ghetto. I'm so embarrassed now. We used the bottom bunk because nobody sleeps on it anymore to store like our air conditioner that goes in the window and everything else like my photography equipment i have I'll just pull back the curtain my photography bean bag and all kinds of stuff so you guys it's so funny the transformations that have occurred in this house since we first moved into this apartment our rent is super cheap and i wouldn't change it for the world um so make it work but guess what that means that we're always in each other's space we're always in each other's faces it's always kind of messy it does force me to keep our bedroom clean because this is where people come. Not right now. This is me like letting the kids play. Um, I'll show you. Thankfully, I got this desk for like 50 bucks on Craigslist. I am not even gonna lie. It's always this messy, if not more messy. Um, and there's my podcasting equipment, my microphone and everything. Hi, Parker. Hi. Say hi to Seth. I think he's still watching. Say hi, hi. Seth. <laughs> Um, my nice little, you know, Diet Coke there. And then my computer. Look at all this stuff. My daughter must have played here, but all these windows open. At any given time, let me just show you. Like, this is how many tabs, if not more. Oh, all those are messed up that I have open on my computer. It's just nuts. You've seen that thing, like, when a window, internet window with, like, a million tabs open. My life is literally, like, a million tabs open. It's crazy. <laughs> I blog about mom stuff. I have a podcast and website and Facebook group called Marvelous Moms Club. Um, Amanda has been on there. She was on an episode of the podcast. I have a different mom. About four days a week, we talk to a different mom. Sometimes it's just me, but most of the time it's me talking to other moms because I get the most out of those interviews. It's really, really cool. Um, just giving us insight and perspective onto their life as a mother, the lessons they've learned, and the struggles they've had so that we can all kind of be reminded that we're not in this alone and give each other ideas of how to be better. So big goals. <laughs> um, a few months ago, my life changed for the better. I started reading books and started realizing there's this whole world of like great positive stuff out there. And I just started going um, at first. What? Hi, <laughs> I can't even find you. <laughs> so that's what my podcast is. You guys should go listen. Um, Go listen to it and enjoy it and see, we've already got a pervert. <laughs> yes, Amanda, I'm an entrepreneurship junkie. I can't get enough. 
This is my crazy six-year-old, the one that we have to lock in his room. <laughs> we're not evil parents. We're just we're just trying to keep you know keep it real. Here's Parker. Say hi, Parker. These kids are like getting so technologically weird. Like I make videos on my phone. They're like, who are we talking to? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you listened to our episode. Yeah, there's lots more where that Whoa. came from. Yeah. Careful. This is how we yeah. have a daughter with yeah. you know broken yeah. bones yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But so this is my daily life. This time of day is probably one of my huh? most crazy because the kids are really needy. They all want to eat nonstop. I need to get dinner going and I just don't have time. Um, and a lot of my time is spent like on the computer and pacifying them and finding... And that's pretty much how the afternoons go. <laughs> don't kick her. Be nice. Yeah, so this is this is crazy town. This is our life, but I love it and it's fun and um uh, crazy. Yep, crazy. <laughs> I a lot of times this is my hair because I don't have time. My hair goes all the way to my bottom, but I don't ever do my hair. It's just the last thing on my list. For me to put my makeup on is a huge accomplishment. Mom, look. My pants I'm wearing have like holes in them. It's just we're nothing fancy. Nothing fancy at all. Mom. Look at hey, me. Hi. Okay, we're not jumping on the furniture. Careful. So anyway, that is my mom's scope for the day. Keeping it real. I'm not going to be afraid to do this anymore. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, go check out themarvelousmomsclub.com and see all the great things that are happening over there. We're starting a book club. We're starting a book club next week. So go and buy the book. Shh. We're doing Miracle Morning for the first book. Um, it's going to be awesome. That is what totally changed my life and has started this entire cool journey of life for me. So thanks for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, my house is very loud. <laughs> Go find me on Instagram, too, if you want even more daily updates about what's happening on the podcast. Um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I will scope you back later. Crazy town. Yeah, it's a good sound. We like that sound. Until somebody, it always ends up in somebody crying. <laughs> Hello from Rio de Janeiro. Okay, I'm really going to go right now because I'm getting anxiety. Thanks, guys. Have a great, great day. Bye.